on the state of Florida so that you would actually see, have a, a reference to our airspace. Miami's right in the middle. I'll move out of your way here. Miami's right in the middle. And then you can see the Keys, the Everglades out here, this game's over here. Okay? The, uh, the stretch that takes you from uh, Florida City to, uh, to Key Largo is right here. Up to 16,000 feet in the Miami Center Room, 17,000 and above. Middle. And then if you go 15 miles north, you have Fort Lauderdale International. And their traffic has just gone crazy in the last several years with low cost carriers. Spirit, Southwest, JetBlue, it's gone insane. Um, the problem with them is they don't have the runway capacity that we have. You know, we got four runways, we got three parallels, we can pump a lot of airplanes. Fort Lauderdale has two parallels, and the south runway is very restrictive. So anything bigger than a king air has to go on the north runway, and that's why you see a lot of the delay issues that they have with the airlines. Um, so it's quite complex, and the, the issue with, with the airspace is we do a lot of climbing over and tunneling under the Lauderdale and the Miami arrivals and departures, you know, because they're all coming basically from the same directions. You know, we have to take them and separate them. So there's a lot of climbing up over the arrivals with the departures, vice versa. And you see like over here, you have the 3,000 to 7,000 here is class Bravo. Inside of that, that arc, it's 15 to 7,000 because we got our arrivals descending into Miami. Yeah, that's yeah. So they need to be yeah, the, the 18,000 to be downtown, yeah. right? And then obviously inside of, inside of five miles, it's surface for seven. The green of the arrivals to Fort Lauderdale, and it's showing that it's going to get busy here. Yeah, because all the greens lined up. Yeah, a quarter till 1745. And the pinks are coming into <coughs> Miami. Miami. What's, what about the others? The reds. He's going to Fort Lauderdale. The reds are going to Fort Lauderdale Executive. Oh, and you exactly. can select okay. different colors. Different people like different colors. Okay, here we go. I just gave most of my airplanes to him for a couple minutes now, so I got to go to the next batch. Hey, Gene, I, I switched her to him. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Oh, oh they, they won't know what I mean when I go. <laughs> 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 Rack 20 to section from the US Air 737 off the right to a five miles east on descending of three thousand. American 914 Abbey, Traffic 1231. Clear approach to Wayne Nodder, maintain 189, still a 5 mile final, 3,000 feet till 10 DME. Alpha 9231. American 2086, contact Navi Tower 18.3, have a nice day. 189 is 8 miles from grid, maintain 3,000 to grid, clear to Wayne approach, maintain speed 210 to grid, then 182 to Lennox. American 914 Abbey, Traffic 1231. Airbus traffic is no back. First thing, Gunflight 9231, Miami Approach, set up 18,000. Air uh, East, VFR, visuals are working now. I haven't been using 12 because the winds are generally straight out of the north. And that's as easy as we've gotten so far. Uh, this weather hasn't been affecting anything. 9932, December 19, Romeo is still on you, going to Chubb Keith, mostly down the corridor, so I kept him and just handed off. You can switch him if you want. Americans going behind him at 8. Uh, this is a point out here. Uh,